Link on New Day Northwest is sponsored by Primera Blue Cross. Americans are preparing to select health care plans during open enrollment, including those newly eligible for Medicare. Here to help arm them with important information they need to select the right plans, please welcome Tracy Boss, Director of Senior Markets at Primera Blue Cross. Hi. Hey. How are you? Thanks for doing this. So, you know, if you, you don't really think about this much until you get close to this age, and then suddenly you think, oh my gosh, what do I do? What does this mean? So there's a difference between Medicare and Medicare Advantage. Can you explain? Sure, yes. Medicare uh, is the government-sponsored program, and Medicare Advantage is the private option that um, health insurers can offer to Medicare-eligible people and include in those options some additional benefits. So like what do you get in Medicare, and why do you need Medicare Advantage? So what you get in Original Medicare is medical coverage, basic hospital and doctor coverage. Okay. And then you can add Medicare Advantage on top of that to get all of those things covered, as well as some added extras like fitness, dental, vision, hearing, often for no premium. And you need more for prescriptions, et cetera. Those things are all add-ons, right, correct? Right, right. And in Medicare Advantage, oftentimes the prescription drugs are included in that as well. Okay. So dates for Medicare enrollment are October 15th to December 7th. Let's say you're getting on Medicare for the first time. Obviously, you would enroll, right? But if you've been on Medicare, do you, do you just continue with the plan you have, or do you have to make another selection during this period of time? If you do nothing, you'll stay on the plan that you're on, and oftentimes that's perfectly appropriate. The other thing that it allows you to do, though, during this time is really take a pause and evaluate, have your medications changed, have your doctors changed, have your lifestyle needs changed at all? And doing that, uh, then reviewing the plans that are available to you. Okay, so if you want to review plans, and this always scares me when I start thinking about, okay, whether it's buying a car or health insurance, what's the best way Let's say I sit down and I say, okay, these are the medications I take, here's my lifestyle, here's what I anticipate, et cetera, et cetera. Then what do I do to compare plans to, to find out which one covers those and is the most affordable? Sure, there's a number of uh, valuable tools out there for you. Primera has some, as well as Medicare.gov. So Medicare.gov is a wonderful site that you can enter all of that information and look at all the plans side by side. Okay, at Primera, so it's kind of like cars.com only for your Right, Medicare right, plans. absolutely. Okay, It'll walk good. you through the process of what drugs do you take and along with the doctors that you see and you can really evaluate what your costs are going to be. Great. And for a lot of people, they've been seeing a private doctor. They want to be sure that doctor's still covered under whatever plan they choose, right? Absolutely. Okay, so how do we check the quality of the companies that are offering Medicare Advantage? I see so many ads about this this time of year, and I haven't gotten any idea. I mean, yeah. I'm not there yet, but I wouldn't know. Sure, there's a number of ways that you can evaluate the quality. One of them is the Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services offers issues a star rating every year. Mm -hmm. So I'm pleased to share that Primera has a four-star rating that was just announced today. Okay. Uh, our competitors also have their star ratings published, so that Medicare.gov site gives you an opportunity to evaluate that. Great. In addition, it's probably appropriate to think about your current health care coverage. So do you appreciate the customer service that you get today? Um, or if you're rolling off of an employer plan, who has been your employer coverage through? Mm -hmm. And are you satisfied with that experience? That might be a great place to start. Oh, that's a good idea. Are places like AARP a good a good stop and shop kind of thing to at least get some reviews on these plans? So AARP actually is um, highlights one specific plan. So certainly you can get information there. I think to get a, a true holistic view of the market, uh, Medicare.gov Medicare would be the place okay. to go. Okay. Now Primera offers a chance for people to help you know, research what they're doing. You've got some free seminars. Tell me about those. Absolutely. So if you go to our website, we have seminars uh, geographically all over the, the areas that we offer plans. So you can sign up and attend those and learn about our offerings. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we have a team that is perfectly willing and excited to have an opportunity to sit across the dining room table with you and think through all of those things we just talked about. What prescriptions are you taking? What doctors do you see? Do you travel a lot? What are your health conditions? Mm -hmm. And really evaluate the options that would be best for you. Now, are the seminars free? Absolutely. What about the one-on-one -on -one meetings? Absolutely free. So you can make an appointment, somebody will actually come to your house and talk you through this? You bet. Or That's meet you at Starbucks amazing. or wherever you'd like. What? Who knew? <laughs> um, so what do you think confuses people the most when they leave, uh, let's say, an employer's plan and they go on to Medicare? 
Oftentimes the type of coverage is a little bit different. So um, some employer plans are really broad coverage and don't require referrals. Most Medicare Advantage plans do require a referral from your core doctor to direct your care. So that con sometimes can be different. The types of prescription drugs that you have can be different. And then just the interface with the government through your typical Medicare is different than what you experience on an employer plan. Right. But once you get used to it, then probably things are fairly smooth sailing. Very smooth right? sailing. Very smooth sailing. Okay. Absolutely. And is anything different these days in terms of what age you qualify for Medicare? No, it absolutely is still 65 or older, mm -hmm. um, or by reason of disability, which most people that have that uh, explore that and understand what that is. But generally speaking, it's age 65 and older. And if you choose to retire later, then you can apply for that later as well. Okay. And do we anticipate any changes to that as well as we can predict the future? At this not point? at this time. Okay. Not at this time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. For more about Medicare Advantage plans through Primera Blue Cross, please visit the website on your screen. We've also linked resources on New Day's homepage. And Tracy will join us again after the show for a special Facebook Live to chat more about Medicare and answer your questions. You can send them in on Facebook. That's immediately following today's show. We'll be back in just a moment and still ahead, a look at body sculpting procedures after this quick break. Thank you.